All right, so right here, I'm gonna show off this cannon right here and how it works, why it is quote unquote unclippable. There obviously, uh, it probably is ways that you can clip this cannon. I mean, every 255 can be clipped in some sort of way, but it's not clippable. It won't clip to placing blocks at the end of the first game tick of its uh, flight. So I'm zero ticking my hammer and the reason why that makes this work perfectly because we you know we have it here, goes here in the barrel, and then it ends here at the wall. And what happens is the hammer no longer gets to dip. It no longer falls because of gravity. And the nice thing about that is when if my cannon were to end up shooting past its um first game tick of distance or its first tick of range, right? If it were to end up shooting like that, the hammer would not even reach. Which means I would never get to the point where I'd have to worry about something falling down and losing velocity. Now, I know that the sand is shot first, and you can make an argument, well, the sand shot first, and the sand can go further, but my hammer will not reach that point no matter what. So unless my hammer shoots slightly further than sand in its first tick, this is never going to happen. This is not going... My hammer and sand are not going to fall down on a block and lose velocity because my hammer... The, the, the range of the hammer and that's exactly why so there is actually ways to bypass the quote-unquote on-ground manipulation and there are multiple ways to do that you can also fusion for two ticks and then stack after the second tick which actually would be um i would say that's probably like better than doing this right here but you know getting a f two tick fusion is kind of like i don't know it, it's a little it's a little, uh, it's a bit of a mess sometimes, so. But besides that, I mean, this is, like, pretty much the most reliable way to do it. Besides the two-tick fusion, which, you know, usually I would use the swinging power for that. But, and besides that, I mean, that's all there is to this. There's other, there's probably ways you can clip this. Probably ways you can clip a two-tick fusion and all that. But, like, this is pretty simple to do. Anybody can do this. Now, I know I have the barrel set up really awkward and all like that. I, I don't know. I just I just don't feel like making a stair barrel or, you know, every single time. It's too boring to make the same cannon every time. So, you know, I like being at least a little bit unique. My cannon's at least a little bit of variety. But that's that. Um, I'll probably just release this in my in the Canyon Utils Discord. But besides that, I mean, that's it. If anybody has questions, just DM me or something.